What's going on, y'all? It's time for another episode of It Depends, where I react to the greatest subreddit on the internet, r slash attorney Tom. Leave hypotheticals in the subreddit, guys, and I'll give an answer. Usually, it's a defense. So we're going to go to top. We oh! Let's go. If I drop my hammer on a job site and it falls 30 feet onto someone's head, is that involuntary manslaughter? Or would OSHA step in and protect me because he didn't wear a hard hat? Okay, this person's confusing a lot of issues here. Getting charged or not charged with manslaughter is not the jurisdiction of OSHA. It's going to be your local district attorney. Second, there's definitely not enough information to determine whether or not this could even be manslaughter. Manslaughter essentially means that your conduct was so reckless or negligent that it was foreseeable that you killed somebody. Think of uh, texting and driving or drunk driving. You didn't mean to run somebody over, but if you're drunk and driving a car, that is clearly so dangerous, so reckless, that it's foreseeable that you kill somebody. If you're on a job site and you're working and your job requires you to use a hammer and presumably the other people on the job site would also be workers or assume the risk that, you know, you're on an active job site. If you just truly made a mistake and dropped the hammer then probably not manslaughter but it depends i'm sorry knowledge hammer i never meant to drop you forgive me hmm your honor how can it be considered a hate crime if my client loved doing it disappointed you know what that is not how hate crimes work in fact it's Almost certainly a more aggravating factor if your client loved committing said hate crime. So, no. Bad. The resemblance is astounding. <laughs> I have a plan. Okay, this is absolutely hilarious. Generally, when we go to court, what I tell my clients is that if the members of the jury have to talk or think about our clothes, we are doing something wrong. You need to be clean cut. You need to be wearing respectable clothes. You need to look clean, not sloppy, shirt tucked in, everything pressed. You need to look good, but it shouldn't be outlandish. Now, that said, there have probably only been a handful of trials in history with the amount of attention that this Depp Heard trial is getting. So I do feel bad for Amber Heard in a way because no matter what she wears, somebody's going to compare it to something. But the Dr. Evil reference is kind of funny. And, I mean, look at it. Look at it. But let's not forget that Dr. Evil doesn't have sugar on the blimp. Look at it. Yes. If someone were to have a photosensitive seizure because of this, could Netflix be liable? Netflix is running an autoplay ad with strobe lights on their home page. It's dangerous for people with epilepsy and vertigo. Strobe lights, photosensitivity need warnings. You certainly can't autoplay it. Mm. This is actually a really interesting question. So if somebody did get injured from this, you'd probably have to sue under some sort of theory of negligence. Remember the four elements of negligence are duty, breach, causation, damages. Here, this would probably be a question of duty. Did Netflix have a duty to warn somebody? Does Netflix have a duty to uh, ensure that its content doesn't cause epilepsy or doesn't cause a seizure for somebody who does have epilepsy? And honestly, that's a pretty tough case. Honestly, if somebody came to me with those injuries and they wanted to hire us, I probably wouldn't accept that case outside of... Uh, finding some additional statute maybe there's something in the ada or something that requires some sort of um warning but i don't think there is and if there's not you know i just that duty might not be there but what kind of lawyer would i be if i didn't save myself it depends i don't know i don't know i just don't think so idiot car films himself breaking the law What are the rules? Rule one, do not do illegal things. Rule two, if you are going to do illegal things, do not film yourself doing said illegal things. And rule three, if 
you film yourself doing said illegal things, do not post them on social media. I love how this guy's trying to make a point by passing the biker on the sidewalk. He probably almost certainly committed an additional crime by passing the bicyclist in such a dangerous way. Just when people do shit like this, I just don't understand what they're trying to accomplish. You really think this biker is gonna change his ways and drive on the sidewalk now that a car is driving on the sidewalk? No, it's probably gonna deter him even more from doing that because uh, there are crazy people who drive on the sidewalks now. Knowledge hammer. <coughs> Clarify, not to the biker, not to the biker, to the driver of the car. Although I have stated on my channel before that I do get pet peeved by bicyclists sometimes, especially when they group up and they pretend like they're a car and they slow down traffic. But I can confidently say that I've never road raged and or driven on a sidewalk to prove a point. And the road is pretty open. I hate to keep talking about this one. I know we have, I mean, uh, dude, like, really, man? Moving on. In the 1990s, a California man began putting ads in a national magazine selling solar powered dryers for $49.95. Customers would then receive a simple clothesline in the mail. Is it fraud? Mm, maybe. It's certainly deceptive trade practices, which is a different standard than fraud. I mean, you could argue that his description was technically correct, but deceptive for sure. Reasonable force. No comment. Jedi attorney now with knowledge hammer. It depends. Only a Sith deals in absolutes. You know, with great power comes great responsibility. That's a saying that I totally made up on my own. Just trust me. It's hard patrolling the internet on my blimp, delivering justice. Yes. What else can I say? There's a reason I have a blimp. The truck for servicing street lamps. This was definitely pre-OSHA. Funny jokes aside, I'm curious to what the response would be in a real trial. I'm just fucking with you, your honor. My client would like to plead, psych, your honor. Motion to psych that from the record, your honor. Um, One, you would probably be held in contempt. Two, you might have committed perjury if you said something that was a lie that you knew was a lie. Saying psych after it doesn't necessarily uh, absolve you of your prior perjury. Third, there might not be any takesy backsies. For instance, if you pled guilty to a crime and then decided to take back your statement, just depending on the state and the circumstances, you could be out of luck. That is not a good idea. Do not try that in real life. It's not worth the joke. My first landlord was murdered and my new landlord is potentially kicking us out by selling my building, which is all incredibly stressful because there's no way I'm going to get away with it twice. Legally, this is a joke. So no, if you say legally it's a joke, it doesn't absolve you of anything. For instance, if they found the first landlord's body and it corroborated with the evidence, this tweet probably would be used in the trial. It's kind of like that lady who wrote the book, How to Murder Your Husband. And then the authorities looked into her and arrested her and convicted her for murdering her husband. Importance of emergency stop buttons. Oh! Yeah, I support this message. Emergency stop buttons are good. We need to show the end to make sure this guy's okay. All right, this guy's okay. This guy's okay. Don't demonetize him. I see nothing foreseeable here. Yeah, you know what? I agree. That seems totally cool. Assuming it's a licensed contractor, can you sue to have them redo it correctly? Huh? Is this messed up?
I'm so confused. My head hurts. I literally cannot tell if this thing is messed up or not. I think it might just be the lighting. The lighting makes it weird. No, it's messed up. No, double blocks. What? 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 Hold on. Oh my gosh, this is hurting my head. Okay, let's just assume this is a bad pattern because my head hurts. First things first, suing is your absolute last option. The very first thing you're gonna wanna do is gonna wanna approach the contractor and say, hey, listen, y'all messed up the pattern. You need to fix the part that doesn't look good. It's your job to make it look good. That's your whole point as a contractor. But if that doesn't work, I mean, uh, potentially you could sue. It just depends on how much money is at stake here. I mean, is this gonna cost you $5,000 to replace? Because hiring a lawyer is probably a lot more expensive than $5,000. So the short answer is, it depends. The long answer is, it depends. Nobody suspects the cat. You know, these social media criminals can learn a lot from cats. You know why cats don't get arrested? Because they shut the f up. That's a good way to pass the red light, but it's also a nice way to get a ticket. <laughs> yeah, that's probably not gonna fly. When you're getting tired of illegal parking. Yeah, so we've talked about this concept before on this channel. The law disfavors self-help and that triggers a lot of keyboard warriors out there. So the correct thing to do here would be to get the car towed and get it out of the illegal parking spots not flip them over and potentially damage them. I understand it's a frustrating situation for them. I would probably be pissed too, but you probably still shouldn't do that. I used to be respected. People took me at my word. Then I became a lawyer representing Amber Heard. Objection hearsay. Oh my God, I don't have a case. Objection hearsay. Now I'm ashamed to show my face. Well, I'm a famous movie star, yeah, life is always fine. I sit down at my penthouse drinking mega pints of wine. Objection hearsay. I don't know why we ever wed. Objection hearsay. Who the hell poops in someone's bed? I object to everything, I may have an infection. Cause I say I object, the judge says That was your own question. Objection <laughs> hearsay. I'm speechless, I, I don't know what to say about that. I don't know. Do not drink whenever you hear it depends. You know what, I always look great when the videos are paused. I don't know what y'all are talking about. That's a good looking guy right there. He's welding on a trailer hauling a next to a gas pump. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that is, uh, that's not smart. That is uh, some Zoolander gasoline type fight. Ish. Knowledge hammer. Don't weld at a gas station. Don't weld when you have something that can catch on fire on top of the thing that you're welding. Just, uh, he gets multiple, like, mm, lots of knowledge hammers. That is absolutely a case. Either products liability case, or maybe it's maintenance, negligent maintenance. That is not supposed to happen. That is very dangerous for the operator. I'm glad he jumped out. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Shit, this, video is, this video is definitely getting demonetized. <laughs> that guy looks familiar. Enhance? 
<laughs> I plead the fifth. I'm not talking without my lawyer present. I know the answer to this. I know who's going to lose their job. The truck driver. The truck driver is probably going to lose his job. You know, it's honestly impressive that he's still driving. Y you think that he would, uh, he would stop. All right, that's it for today's video. Bye.